Addressing rundown buildings was uh, certainly a key issue at last year's mayoral race over in Troy. After concerns about falling bricks displaced dozens of people out of the Harbor Point Gardens apartment complex in South Troy. News 10 ABC's Karina Dominguez checking in with the new administration to find out what they plan to do to restore blighted properties. When Mayor Carmela Montella was sworn in last week, she said they'll be cracking down on absentee landlords who let their properties become public hazards. Russ Reeves was appointed the new city engineer, and he'll head both the Department of Public Works and Code Enforcement. We have approximately 43 uh, vacant buildings that have red X's on them right now, and we're going to be evaluating in detail each building. Uh, a portion of those will most likely need to be removed. They'll need to be, uh, they'll need to come down. Dilapidated and condemned homes have displaced families in Troy. The mayor's looking to appropriate some money to address these public safety issues, which are really a, a blight on the community. It's a welcome change for concerned citizens who say crumbling buildings are causing them to lose sleep. It's the negligence. Amara Pool is a resident on 4th Street, and four months ago, a building adjacent to her home collapsed. Debris crashed through her four-year-old son's window. And my son, I mean, literally was sitting on his bed. He was stuck, just reaching out for me, and he couldn't move. Like, he couldn't move. He was covered from head to toe in dust and debris. She says he's traumatized by the ordeal. You still, you hear little booms and bangs coming from next door because they're repairing, whatever. And um, he hears it and he gets scared. Reeves says the city will take corrective action immediately if property owners do not. And then the cost of that goes back on the owner's taxes. Uh, we're being very proactive with all this, and, and that's what our goal is. Reporting in Troy, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.